What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Rich, here for my best bets on prize picks for Monday Night Football between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Cincinnati Bengals. As always, this is for prize picks, so if it's your first time depositing, make sure you use the promo code WAKEUP for a 100% deposit match up to $100. I will waste no more time because this game could be gross. Over under of 39.5 points. The spread is widening from 7.5 to minus 10 in favor of the Jaguars. So the Jaguars should beat down the Bengals, but you never know. Maybe we'll get a good game, but let's get into the picks on prize picks because there are a few ones that I'm looking at right now that I do like, and I think you guys should know about and put in some slips today. So there is a couple lines here that you already can see there's some discrepancies for. Evan Ingram receiving yards is juiced up on prize picks. You have Travis Etienne's rushing yards juiced up on prize picks. So some discrepancy there, and maybe you could look towards an under. It looks like you're getting very close to around where he should be projected at. So you could look for an under there. Trevor Lawrence rushing yards, 13 and a half on prize picks, 11 and a half on DK. But we do kind of expect him to go over, so I'm not really looking at that line too much. Travis Etienne's receiving yards. I do like this one. 14.5 on DK, 15.5 on prize picks. So you do have to pay up a little bit on prize picks, but minus 130 to the over. This is probably 15.5 by the time that this game ultimately closes. So if you wanted to take this line on prize picks, take the over here. I do like that one quite a bit. Let's look at Jamar Chase. 58 and a half receiving yards. Give me the over there. We talked about CeeDee Lamb and I understand Jake Browning, but they're probably going to be down in this game. They're going to have to throw to win the game. Give me the over for Jamar Chase. Love that number. Another line that looks really, really good is Calvin Ridley's receptions. I just checked this number on DK actually. It's minus 140 to the under, but if Price Picks is giving us Four and a half, we should take it because it is minus 140 to the under right now on DraftKings Sportsbook. When I pulled the number, it was minus 166, but that's phenomenal value. That's the value you want to see. So Calvin really under receptions at four and a half is a great line. You could look at Jamar Chase, but Jamar Chase has already moved to five. So we should expect Calvin Ridley to move to four, at which point we wouldn't take him. But for right now, it looks like a pretty good spot. Same thing with Evan Ingram. Evan Ingram is another guy that you could look towards and under as well. But for now, let's see actually what his line is on DK because I have it open anyways. So we have Evan Ingram, four and a half juice to the over. So we could look at that one as well. But again, already at five. So it is a pretty good spot. And as I mentioned, Calvin Ridley, you can see here, juice to the under, minus 140. But that's kind of the main picks I'm looking at right now was the Ridley, the Chase, the ETN. Those are the ones I identified before the game that I really like. Mixon under rushing yards also looks good on prize picks, especially when you factor in that he is juiced to the under. If Cincinnati is down, we're taking the Jamar Chase over. Taking the Mixon under is pretty good. Sportsline does have him for an over. So if you're going off median projections, maybe you don't want to take an under. But based off where the book's at right now, the juice is to the under at 46 and a half and prize picks is giving us 49 and a half. So if you go to mysparedge.com and compare the lines, you may see that it's a great spot for Joe Mixon. This is just me using DK as a quick search tool to see where the discrepancies are. But this Mixon line does look pretty good as well. You see Evan Ingram receiving yards is kind of getting juiced up right now. I wouldn't really go there. Zay Jones is interesting because you are getting a one yard discount. So probably a yellow light for Zay Jones because I do like Zay Jones a lot. And it's a pretty modest number at 28 and a half, and a half 29 and a half on DK. And there is juice to the over based off the models. I always like Christian Kirk, but I don't think I'm taking him today. Calvin Ridley has been getting involved a little bit. Is it Calvin? Is it Kirk? We don't really know. I think the reality is, is that it could be a low receiving total from all the Jaguars. Trevor Lawrence probably not doing a whole lot in this game. It's really just, do we want to attack ETN or not? I'm not so inclined. I think I like going after the Bengals a little bit more. The under for Mixon rushing, the over for Jamar Chase receiving, the over for Travis Etienne receiving, and then the under for Calvin Ridley receptions. Those would be my four picks for today. As always, if you tell, give prize picks hell, and if we fail, do not bail. I'll be back on Thursday with more picks and bets. Until next time, good luck tonight, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.